Well, I'm sitting here with Mel Blanchard, and he is the author of this incredibly spectacular mural that I'm going to guesstimate is 100 feet long and 20 feet tall. Just by way of saying, it's a huge, beautiful, complex mural that was painted in acrylic. Uh, I have some questions for you about it. We talked a little bit before. Well, but about airplanes and so You were talking about airplanes, yeah, and you have some airplanes as part of your mural. What were you thinking about when you conceptualized this beautiful piece? Because I like airplanes. Because you like airplanes? Okay. Well, in the mural, um, when I took a look at it, um, I realized that everything radiates out from the center, huge circular panel that has a quote by a gentleman named William Beebe. When the last individual of a race of human beings breathes no more, another heaven and another earth must pass before such a one can begin again. Yeah. And that's, that sounds that there's an apocalyptic sensibility about that. Um, you know, at the end of time. BB talked about things like that. Yeah. And so that was on your mind as well. Well, I don't have much of a mind. <laughs> I, I know that's not true. One of the things that I noticed when we talked about a little bit about was that there, on either side of the mural, there's two major themes. And on the right-hand panel, it, it, it seems to be a theme about the evolution of nature and of animals, beginning with That was the theme of the, the, the mural. You know, I didn't even get too nosy about it, because, mm -hmm. but I, I knew I had a theme going on, and it was working. Yeah. And uh, so, what would you say on with the panel on the right, with you know the evolution of dinosaurs and then and yeah. various animals across time, and then on the far right at the end of the hallway, the animals are rushing toward what looks like uh, factories and industry. And there, it seems, is there a, a, a sense That's of like pollution? Pollution, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sometimes, you know, working in this environment, you know, you work with students who were difficult and who had challenges, and, and so I'm sure that was yeah. hard work. Um. <laughs> yeah. Did they like the mural? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they They would. never defaced it. I see that. The usually yeah. kids, you know, they scribble all over yeah. kind of stuff, but they never touched it. Yeah. And, uh, well, that's that's a sign that they respected it. Yeah. Yeah. And I was surprised. Yeah. Well, it's a good surprise. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I got to ask you on so on this, uh, what would be our left side of the panel? You have a history of the evolution of humankind, and you have and, and, and uh, that, you have that one's not worth it. Try to put it in because oh, I don't aspects. like the humans. Well, <laughs> I don't like politicians. Yeah, I don't like any of those people. Yeah, and I stay away from. Them. Well, what what I saw, you know, was you recorded human history um, from our earliest beginnings with pictographs uh, through ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, Rome, the death of Christ. And, the Crusades, the Middle Ages, and then moving toward America with the Revolutionary War. And the last panels of the mural on the right reference ongoing wars, beginning with Civil War, World War I, World War II, and then at the far right you have images related to the war in Vietnam. So, yeah. so you have a history of the evolution of humans that, if I'm reading it correctly, really represents the fact that we struggle because we can't stop killing each other, is that? Well, that could very well be. Yeah. Well, I guess that leads me to ask, do you feel that this mural is uh, an optimistic painting or a pessimistic painting? If it is optimistic, then it's because you were aware of history. The mural was painted, uh, if I'm correct, maybe in the late 60s or early 70s? And Marianne, yes. And 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 Do given know? that that's true, what what I notice here is, you know, the 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 use of some of your images seem to relate to ideas that hippie artists were basically, you know, making with beautiful 
flowing lines and flowers and suns. I and have no room for a hippie artist. Yeah, so you weren't referencing that at all. No, if anything, it was the dinosaurs. Uh -huh. The kids love dinosaurs. Uh -huh. The kids love dinosaurs.